Hi and welcome to section 3. In this section we are going to look at more serverless components. So in the first video we are going to look at the simple queue service. So the simple queue service is nothing but a service for your messages. This is a fully managed service that's provided by AWS. Here you don't need to worry about the scalability or availability of the service. The simple queue service allows you to decouple different components of your application. So let's say for example, you have two components for your application, a user component. So let's say this user component is used by the users to let's say upload files. You then have another component of your application or system that's used for processing those files which are uploaded by the users using the user component. You could have the simple queue service in between to work with the messaging. So when the user uploads a file, it could be an image or a video, the user component could send a message to the message queue saying that there is file which has been uploaded by the user. It's time to process it. You can then have a processing component which continuously pulls the queue service. It pulls out the messages. Once it pulls out the message, it will see the location where the file is stored. It will then retrieve the file and do the processing. So all of these distribute components, the interaction, the working between them can be done via the simple queue service. Now we look at the life cycle of a queue message. You have to consider that the first thing you have to do is you have to post a message to the queue. After you post a message, this will be done, let's say in our previous example by the user component. You then have the processing component which would read the message from the queue. Once the message is read from the queue, the message will be processed. So in our prior example, you have the processing component which would read the message. Now when it's processed the message, it would basically get the file which was uploaded by the user do the necessary processing for that particular file. And once it's done, it then needs to delete the message from the queue. This is very important. If you don't delete the message, the message would become available in the queue again and could be picked up by the processing component all over again. So you have to ensure that you understand the full life cycle of a message in the queue. Now the two main types of queue, you have the standard and the first in first out queue. So the basic difference is that in the first in first out queue, as the name suggests, the message which is passed in first into the queue is the one that will be retrieved the first by the component on the processing side. That's the only core difference. In order to maintain that first in first out structure, this is how the queue has been defined. Whereas in the standard queue, you don't know which message will be picked up. It could be the first message in the queue or it could be the second message in the queue. There is no guarantee in the order of messages in the standard queue. Now let's move on to our next video where we're going to look at integrating the AWS Lambda service with the simple queue service.